Hello again, everyone. Um, hope you've been trying to uh, practice the Paul Van Goom that we did with the other video. Uh, today, I'd like to share with you the movements of Tai Chi Cha. With Tai Chi Cha, it's a graceful moving, moving meditation of uh, 19 different movements in one pose at the end. But prior to doing anything of that nature, again, let's go back and practice to stand correctly. So if you can find yourself a wall, put yourself up against that wall, your shoulders, the back of your head, just take some nice deep gentle breaths. When you're ready, just step forward. One thing that we need to remember prior to beginning any of the movements of Tai Chi Cha is our breathing. So many times in this hectic society of ours, we're just taking these short, frantic breaths. But with Tai Chi Cha, we are going to be breathing from what's called our Dante Yen our core, which is just below our navel, our belly button. And so we're going to be breathing in from there. <sighs> breathing in from the Dantian, filling our lungs. And gentle exhales. We'll be practicing that gentle breathing throughout all of the 19 movements. And let's begin. The first movement is rocking motion, rocking motion. And to begin with that, our palms are facing outward. Feet gently spread apart. And we're just going to rock back and forth, rock back and forth. If this is hard for you, if you feel unsteady, just move your arms and your hands. Just getting our body moving a little bit. Let's do one more after this, and gently come to a rest. Our next movement is called Bird Flapping Its Wings. Bird Flapping Its Wings. If you're comfortable enough with your ankles and your knees, stand somewhat pigeon-toed. If that's uncomfortable for you, just stand with your feet facing forward. Hands in front of you like so. Fingertips barely touching at the most. And like a bird, we're going to flap our wings. We're going to do this three times. And on the third time, we're going to twist our wrists three times. One two, three. Now, with our deep breathing, again, One more time. And rest. 
Our next movement is called Around the Platter. Around the Platter. So think of a platter, say, when you go to a restaurant, you see a waiter or a waitress carrying food, uh, that platter that they would use. Something of that nature we're going to be imagining in front of us. And this platter is going to be maybe at this level, no higher than your shoulders for sure, but maybe right at chest level is where this platter is going to be. And what we're going to be doing with the platter is we're going to be tracing our fingertips around the platter. Around the platter. A series of movements that we're going to be doing now with our lower half of our body, we're going to gently step forward with our left foot so that our left heel is no more further in front of you than your right big toe. So it's none of these giant steps, it's just a gentle step forward. And while we're doing that, we're going to trace around the platter, moving from left to right. Just keep that platter right in front of you, no long stretches, just a gentle caressing of that platter in front of you. Practice your breathing now as you're going out, nice deep breath, and when you're coming back, exhale. One more, and come to a rest. I'm guessing you're noticing that my fingers were moving. I was not doing that on purpose. That's the chi, the energy flowing through my body. And that'll be happening for you too, after you do this for a while. So when that happens, just relax and enjoy it because that's positive energy that's flowing through your system. Now with these movements, whatever we do from left to right, we're then going to be going from right to left. It's the yin and the yang, practicing balance in our, in our bodies. So with the right now, it's a gentle step forward with our right foot. Heel is even with our left big toe. And at the same time, we're going to trace from right to left around the platter. One more. Come to a rest. Remember, practice your deep breathing as you're doing all of these movements. The next movement is called the variation of the platter. Variation of the platter. Again, the same body movements uh, with the lower half of our body, so we're going to gently step forward with our left foot. And now that platter is still going to be in front of us, the platter that we were using just before. To start this variation, though, I'd like you to think of a small Nerf ball of energy starting at your left shoulder. And as you step forward, you're just going to push that ball of energy out and then trace around the rim of the platter. Just your breathing. Let's 
do one more. Come to a rest. Gentle step forward with our right foot. Again, right heel, even with our left big toe. Push your ball of energy out and trace around the rim of the platter. more. And come to a rest. Our next movement is called bass drum. Bass drum. When you go to a parade, you see the drum section towards the end of the, uh, the band section of the, the parade. And there are the drummers in the back, and some are carrying bass drums, playing bass drums. Our bass drum that we're going to be using is right in front of us, no more than, again, maybe shoulder level. And we're going to be tracing around the rim of the bass drum, around the rim of the bass drum. And again, the lower half of our body is doing the same thing that we just did with the first two movements of Tai Chi Cha, so it's that gentle step forward with our left and when we're ready, that gentle step forward with our right foot. So to begin bass drum, and again, practice your, your deep breathing, tracing around the rim of the drum from the bottom to the top. Not too far in front of you so that you're really overstretching, just a gentle, Reach forward, tracing around the rim of the bass drum. Do one more and come to a rest. forward and repeat bass drum. One more. And rest. For these first movements of Tai Chi Cha, I'd like to do nine rotations from each side. Nine rotations from each side. When that changes, I'll let you know uh, what will be uh, some shorter movements, shorter rotations. The next piece is called Daughter on the Mountaintop. Daughter on the mountain top, one of my favorites, daughter on the mountain top. Again, the lower half of our body will be doing the same as before, a gentle step forward with our left foot, and when it's time, gentle step forward with our right foot. With daughter on the mountain top, we're going to be bringing our hands up at eye level so that our left hand is closest to our face. Left hand is closest to our face. And even when we step forward with our right foot, again, left hand is closest to our face. So the daughter starts at the top of the mountain and she comes down.
Let's do one more. And then come back to your starting position. Now stepping forward with our right foot, and again our left hand is going to be closest to our face. Daughter on the mountaintop. Hands should not be touching. One more. Again, a series of nine from each side. Our next movement, daughter in the valley, daughter in the valley. Again, same movement with the lower half of our body. We'll start with that left foot forward. With the daughter in the valley, as we come forward, I'd like you to think of your hands caressing a small pole in front of you until you get to about chin level. And it's there that the daughter comes up to the top of the mountain. So she's starting in the valley, comes to the top of the mountain. What does she find up there? These are wonderful pieces for meditation too. Things that we're looking for, different journeys in our lifetime. What kind of pleasant surprises do we find? Do one more. Come to your starting spot. Right foot forward, and repeat, daughter in the valley. Don't have to stretch too far in front of you, just a gentle reach out. Daughter comes up from the valley to the top of the mountain. Do one more. Come to a rest. Again, nine times to each side. Now we're going to change our movements a little bit. This next one is called carrying the ball. Carrying the ball. So that ball of energy that we were using before with the variation of the platter, that small ball of energy, we're going to be using that again. Now we're going to be moving from left and eventually to the right. We're going to carry the ball of energy five times to the left. And it looks like this. So we're starting at shoulder level, just caressing that little ball. Gentle step forward to the left, or sideways to the left, excuse me. Gentle step sideways to the left. So nothing like this. Just a gentle step sideways to the left. And as we're stepping, we're going to swing that ball of energy right to the middle, plant ourselves. We're going to do that five times. and rest. And now we're going to go from left to right. So as we step to the side on our right, we're going to bring the ball of energy to our left shoulder, swing to the right, 
Bring our left leg with us. One more. And it's carrying the ball. So five times to the left, and then five times to the right. Our next movement is called push-pull. Push-pull. And we're returning to those uh, step forwards with our, first with our left foot, and then with our right foot. And to begin push-pull, as we step forward, we're putting our hands at chest level, palms facing outward. And what I like to share with people at this point is that if we've got any anxiety within us, any stresses that we're going to practice, pushing that out of our system and pulling in the positive energy that's out there. chest level. We're pushing out and pulling in. Let's do one more. And come to a rest. Gentle step forward with our right foot and repeat, push-pull. more and come to a stop. Again, nine times left, nine times right. Our next movement, pulling in the energy, pulling in the energy, positive energy, pulling in the positive energy that's out there. And so again, with our bottom half of our body, we're going to be stepping forward, the first left foot, and then our right foot. We're going to be using that platter that we were using before, only this time with pulling in the energy, we're going to be tracing around the bottom of the platter, the bottom of the platter. And again, when we do this, we're not stretching so far out that it's uncomfortable. That platter is just gently right in front of us so we can trace around that rim. So as we do this movement, let's just think about positive energy that we can bring in from the world. Friends, family, loved ones. Who are those people that give us good positive energy? And we begin. You practice your breathing. So as you step forward, a nice deep breath in. As you get closer to the back rim, exhale. One more, and come to a rest.
gentle step forward with our right foot, and then we're going to trace around the rim, the bottom rim of the platter from left to right. This time, as we do so, let's think of the goodness inside of us, the virtues, the values inside of us that we want to share with other people. So that step forward, and trace around the bottom rim of the platter. What are those good pieces of you that you want to share with the world? We all have them. Let's do one more, and come to a rest. With all of these, it's a matter of being gentle with ourselves. The more that we practice, the more they become familiar, the better we feel about it. But to continue to practice these movements, that's the key. The key with anything, really. Practice, practice, practice. Our next piece, excuse me, our next piece is called pulling taffy. Pulling taffy. You think back in the day at those uh, state fair venues where they would have the, the taffy pulling machine that would pull that taffy back and forth pull that taffy back and forth before we bought those little packages of yummy saltwater taffy. Well, we're going to be using something similar to that in this movement, pulling taffy. We're going to be going right to left again. We're going to do this five times to the left and then five times to the right. So it's that gentle step left, gentle step left. And when it's time, gentle step right, nothing pronounced. Nothing dramatic, just a gentle side step. And as we do that, as we begin, we're going to the left now. Our left hand is underneath our right elbow. And right elbow, excuse me, right hand is right above our left elbow. So as we do so, we're going to pull the taffy and rest. Pull. Rest, pull, rest. One more. Five times. And now going from right to uh, left to right, excuse me. We're going to start with our right hand underneath our left elbow, left hand above our right elbow. Gentle step to the right, pull, and rest. Pull. Taffy pull. Basic taffy pull. Our next movement, anchor step with a taffy pull. Anchor step with a taffy pull. We're going to be moving forward now. At least the first part of this movement is forward. And it's a gentle step forward, and it's crooking your leg a little bit in front of you. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. If that's hard for your knee or your foot, just a gentle step forward then. But as we do that, we're going to be starting with our left hand underneath our right elbow. So it looks like this. And we're going to pull that taffy and flick it. We're going to come back and rest. And then we're going to pull the taffy and rest. Patience, 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 practice with this. The first time I did this, I almost fell over. And I think I was like 39 years old, so patience with this. So 
So, gentle step forward, hands like so, left hand underneath, right elbow. Come back and rest, balance yourself, pull the taffy to the left. We'll do this five times. your balance. Rest. One more. And rest. And now we're going to move from left to right, left to right. So gentle step forward with our right foot. Right hand is underneath our left elbow. Pull the taffy. Come back and balance yourself. Pull the taffy. Gentle step forward. Pull the taffy. Balance. Pull the taffy. Two more. Balance. Last one. Balance. And rest. Our next taffy pull is taffy pull with three wrist circles. Taffy pull with three wrist circles. And these wrist circles are going to be happening at our sides like so. Just hang your hands or your arms nice and loose next to you. And just gently you're going to be wrist, uh, circling your wrists three times. And then we're going to pull the taffy to the left five times. And then coming back to the right five times. Some people like to do this on their tiptoes. I usually tell folks, stay flat-footed if you're unsure of that kind of a balanced nature. So let's just do a, with our feet flat on the ground for now. Make sure your, your back is nice and straight. And begin. One, two, three. We're going to the left. So left hand is underneath our right elbow. Pull and rest. One, two, three, and rest. Two more. going to be going to the to the right so we'll have our right hand underneath our left elbow as we pull as we pull three wrist circles pull the taffy and rest Let's do one more. And come to a rest. The final piece of the taffy pulls is taffy pull with perpetual motion. 
Uh, this is one of the favorite uh, movements in the class. I know that for a fact. Uh, so we'll, we'll do this. And we're going to be going back and forth, left to right, left to right at the start. We usually do about oh, 9 to 12 uh, of these, and then we'll stop and we'll go back to the, uh, to the right. But taffy pull with perpetual motion looks like so. It's going to be, again, how we start. Left hand is underneath our right elbow, and we're going to pull, and we're just going to stay in the same space. We're not going to be moving our feet. Just rocking it back and forth, pulling that taffy. Next time we go to the left, bring your right leg with you to rest. And now we're going to move from left to right. So when we begin, our right hand will be underneath our left elbow, and we're going to pull the taffy going to the right. The next time you go to the right, pull your left leg with you. And rest. Those are the taffy pulls. Our next movement is called working the pulley. Working the pulley. Back in the day, some of those movies that had the uh, tenement buildings with those clotheslines in between them, and people would pull that pulley to get their clothes back into their apartment buildings. We're going to do something similar to that. That type of a pulley is going to be in front of us. We're also going to be using that movement that we had before. So it's going to be that gentle step forward with our left foot. And when it's time, gentle step forward with our right foot. We're going to be doing nine on each side. And working the pulley begins like so. Our left, excuse me, our right hand will be by our right hip left hand up by our left shoulder, and we're going to work the pulley. Don't stretch too far in front of you. Again, this is not supposed to be uncomfortable. Next time you bring your left hand in with you, bring your left leg with you, and rest. Again, nine times to each side. Gentle step forward with our right foot, left hand at our left hip, right hand at our right shoulder, and again we work the pulley.
Bring your right hand and leg back with you and stop. Again, that movement with my fingers, that's not intentional. That's the chi coming out of my body. And eventually that's going to happen for you. And enjoy that ride because it's a wonderful experience. Positive, positive energy. Our next movement, light at the top of our head and light at our temples. Light at the top of our head, light at our temples. Again, deep breathing. We're going to stay stationary, one space. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring up a nice deep breath. Nice deep breath. One more. We do that three times. And now three times light at our temple. I like to call it clearing the attic because it really does clear my noggin when I do this. One more. And rest. Our next piece, joyous breath, joyous breath. And again, we're staying stationary. It'll be a nice deep breath coming up from our Dantayan. Again, right below our navel, right below our belly button. We're going to bring in a nice deep breath, and then we're going to slowly exhale three times until we get all of that out of our system. So it looks like this, three times. Shoulder level. Deep breath. Last one. That's joyous breath. I'm getting close to the end now. Our next piece, another one of my favorites, and I think the class likes this as well, passing clouds passing clouds. So we're going to imagine ourselves, <clears throat> excuse me, with clouds in front of us. Nothing above our head. Everything's going to be at face level, shoulder level. So right in here, the passing clouds. And it looks like so. We're going to be moving sideways again. It looks like so. When we begin passing clouds, our right palm is facing outwards. We're going to swing our left hand across our body. It's going to come across our face, and we're going to pass through the clouds, rotating our hands. Again, that's that face level. It's the gentle swaying side to side. For all of these, if you have some nice background instrumental music, it really does set the tone. So if you can find something that would really be soothing, relaxing, while you do Tai Chi Cha, strongly recommend it. The next time we go to the left, bring your right leg and arm with you to rest. Now, starting this way, we're going to start with our left hand by our left hip. Our right hand will swing across our body, come across our face, 
and we pass through the clouds. Just the gentle swaying back and forth. Hands at face level. I did this once in the Andes Mountains. That was pretty wild. And the next time you move to the right, bring your left arm and leg with you to rest. Our final movement, final movement, are the six healing sounds. The six healing sounds. We're going to do this three times with a little variation on the third one. The healing sounds. They're good for different portions of our body, for our lungs, for our kidneys, for our liver, for our heart. And these are the sounds that we're going to be using. Gentle step forward with our left foot. Hold. Pull back, left leg and hand. Both hands going forward with left leg going forward again. That was ho. This is who. Who. Come back. We're going to move to the left. And we're going to say the word su. Nice and slow. Su. So it's like so, our left hand, right hand, and our right hip. Su and rest. With our right. Sh. Both hands. She. She. Both hands at our left, left hip. Shui. Shui. Balance. We do that three times. On the third time, on the third time, that shui that we just did, we're going to do that shui five times, and at the end, the conclusion, I'll show you the pose that we conclude our Tai Chi Cho with. So that would be shui, 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 shui. Shui. Let's try it. The six healing sounds. Ho, hu, su. Ho, hu, hu, su, su, shu, shi, shui. Sh, she, shui, shui, ho, hu, su, sh, she, shui. Ho, hu, su, sh, she, five times, shui, 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 and come into your pose. It's almost like you got a picture frame in front of you, a window pane, and you're looking at the world now from a different perspective after you've concluded your Tai Chi show. And that's the end. Typically this takes me between 30, 40 minutes at the most. 
a wonderful thing to do outside or inside. I've done this outside in beautiful weather, outside in snow. Um, find a nice spacious area in the house if you can. Beautiful place to start. Find yourself a comfort zone, wherever that might be. You don't have to do all of these the first time out or so. Um, if you've got some favorites that you'd like to do, that's perfectly fine to do as well. I could sit and do passing clouds all day if I wanted to. Um, so find those that you feel most comfortable with, but try to practice all of those as much as you can, all 19 movements, along with the gentle deep breathing. Both of those together make so much of a difference in our lives. I typically recommend to my class that we meditate then in silence for three to five minutes, three to five minutes of meditation. At the conclusion of that, we always share namaste. Namaste. I've changed the, uh, my definition of namaste a little bit, and what I use for namaste, what I mean when I say namaste is, may the peace within me and the peace within you bring about more peace in the world. May the peace within me and the peace within you bring about more peace in the world. And I typically then, as I'm saying the namaste, I would bow to the four directions, to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. And then if I'm with other people, we conclude by saying namaste to each other and looking each other in the face, looking each other, making that eye contact. So much of eye contact is lost nowadays because everybody's walking around texting or looking at their phone for some other reason. So that specialness of the eye contact is really important. So let's practice namaste. Nice, comfortable standing position. Hands like so in front of us. And we're going to bow. Namaste. 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 And to all of you, namaste. Thank you.